Alex McBride. Hello. Welcome. Um, it's really great to have you doing one of the like workshops with Thanks. the Ravensbourne yeah. students. Um, how is it that you came up with the idea for the project that you've set them today? Well, it's Christmas for a start. It's December, we're in the run, run up to Christmas now. Um, and we're in Oxford Circus. Um, and something that I've been doing myself for the last uh, couple of years is thinking about like how to deal with crowds, how to deal with like groups of people when shooting. And so what I've set them to do is to kind of think about how they're layering their pictures, thinking about like you know what's in the foreground, what's in the mid-ground, what's in the background of a photograph, as opposed to just having a flat plane. Mm -hmm. Um, what the students can do is that they can like go out into sort of like the throngs of Oxford Circus and the surrounding areas and take advantage of the fact that there's a lot of people and rather than it sort of being a bit of a mess, um, kind of use this sort of layering technique in order to kind of tidy it up when you're taking a picture. These two hairs, you've actually got to shift to the left a little bit so the lens can see that, otherwise, yeah. you're, going to get, otherwise you're going to cut off. You're going, to, you know, you're going to cut it off and it's not going to be completely centralised. So like, You always want to be a fly on the wall. Um, having a lot of big gear, like big massive lenses, um, it scares people off and it gets you noticed. And what I want is to be ignored as quickly as possible. There's always that inevitable part where you show up as a, as a foreigner, as someone new, where people want to come and take, shake your hand, they want to come and uh, talk to you, they want to communicate with you. Which is fine, and like that's part of the job as well. However, you want them to sort of as quickly as possible forget that you're there and get on with whatever it is that they're doing or whatever it is that you're there to actually photograph. Um, so obviously, having these like smaller cameras definitely helps um, because you're not like flashing this big amount of gear in front of them. Um, these newer N10Ps are like pretty much silent, so you can get the candid shots. You know, you haven't got people constantly looking over into the lens all the time. Um, so yeah, for me, I think a smaller camera is definitely an advantage.